if you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. Uh, this is another area to kind of focus on ultrasonics that you can get into trouble is that we like cranking up the heat on these and when you get these, uh, that's Celsius by the way, and it'll still go quite a bit hotter yet. When you get this cranked up, that can allow that aluminum to expand so much that anything that's brass could simply just fall out. So you can't, you can't just walk away and think, okay, hey, yeah, no problems, I'm gonna be good to go. There's little, like, let me look at this here. This one doesn't have it. Sometimes they'll drill these passages and they'll plug it with a ball. I'll grab a carb here in a second and show you one because I definitely have it. Let's, uh, just for the benefit of this video here, let's run over to the shop quick and grab that carb so that you can see the ball bearings that I'm talking about that are pushed in place. And you do not want those falling in the bottom of here somewhere and you not knowing it. Uh, it's another reason I really like these small tanks as you can take and drain them uh, between jobs so that you thoroughly know there was no extra pieces in. And if you haven't seen some of the other videos we've been doing lately, we've done some really cool stuff how you can take your parts, fill this solution up, and actually clean it in a bucket or container. And if you did have any of the, the balls fall out or springs or anything else, uh, they would be captured in here, and that'd be a really fast way versus draining the tank, if that makes sense. Let's uh, hop over real quick, go look at that carburetor, show you that last part, and wrap this up. Right back at the bench here. Here's a good example too, this brass tube, that's just pressed in there. You get that hot enough, that could just fall out. So like, I'll take things like this and I'll look at the whole part before I put in the ultrasound and go, okay, what's most important to me? Well, I don't wanna lose that little guy, that's most important to me, so I'm gonna put it this direction, but that still means that this brass tube's at risk. I do know this, this is in there way tighter than that from experience, so I would set it that way so that it just wouldn't let gravity let it fall out, if that makes sense. I mentioned on a carburetor where like, uh, the drill passages and put little uh, bearings in to block a passage. Let's find one. Here's one. They drilled a hole that they needed to go this way and how they plug it from the outside to make those two cross is they just press in either a ball bearing, in this case it's brass instead of steel makes sense for a race carburetor to be lighter right um, but you'll find these throughout different areas most of these I think like here's another one on the mid body you can see that one Let's see I know I saw enough on here that I was thinking oh, I should show you guys this so there's that one the seat is pressed in those two brass tubes are pressed in. I mean, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of things I need to be really intentional on when doing this. And I don't want to take great tools like ultrasonics machines, vapor blasters. You know, we got our soda blaster cabinet up there in full action right now. We don't want to take the great stuff and then have it cause us actual trouble. So if you haven't done so yet, I'd like, share, subscribe, uh, become a member of the channel for the deep dive videos. We also are doing a lot more content on these model specific. So here's uh, this off a of Honda CRF, but this Kian FCR carburetor, we are doing a complete beginning to end, even uh, the mid body uh, overhaul service kit, throttle shaft, the whole nine yards. And then those will be in those like really long broken into segment videos for every, you know, every single thing you could ever want to know about that carburetor and how to rebuild it and set it up. Done a lot of other models recently, the CBR 400, uh, full uh, maintenance and service on DRZ 400s, TW 200s, the Harley Bagger there just did uh, steering neck bearings with some really cool new tools. I really didn't think I was gonna like that tool as much as I did, but I did. Uh, CBR 1100XX, R6. I mean, it's just a lot of stuff and content on the channel that really gets into uh, this deep dive stuff. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you for being here. Hopefully this quick little free tip is something that made you think and you went, wow, cool channel. Gonna like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I'm gonna get back at it. Y'all make it a great day. Talk to you again soon. And as always, keep wrenching.